Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World. I'm Jeanette. I'm here to talk about makeup, do makeup try-ons, subscription box unboxings, and makeup hauls. Mostly unboxings of subscription boxes. And today I'm going, I know it's a little late, but I have my Ipsy Glam Bag from January 2022. Today is Tuesday, February 1st. I did, I got it in the mail, uh, I believe it was Thursday or Friday. Um, I forget which day, but... I got the COVID, so I've been a little sick, so I haven't made it to my mailbox. So, as you can tell, I still don't have much of a voice, but I wanted to get these videos up for you. So, I forced myself to shower and put on my makeup <laughs> and get out, get to the mailbox and got my Ipsy Glam bag to show you guys. So, if you want to see what I got in my January 2022 Ipsy Glam bag, keep on watching. All right, welcome back to my channel, everybody. So happy to see you. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing before you leave. And watch the whole video and give it a like or a dislike. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. And if you're a current subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you all back here. So um, I know I've had videos up. Uh, they were all from when I post. I, I did videos on the 23rd. I made like five videos haven't been I, and then I got sick after that so last Thursday morning I woke up really sick and I was like oh my gosh I'm I think I've got it finally I think I've got the you know the vid and uh, I was right um, I was so I was tested positive tested last Thursday just positive Friday I've been home you know just taking care of me ever since so my ipsy glam bag came it was either thir in Thursdays or Fridays mail, and I got the notification, but I have not ventured out of this house. So today I decided to take the trip to the mailbox and back to get my glam bag so I could show you guys. And whew, I was tired by the time I got back here. <laughs> It was rough. It was rough going. Even just taking a shower and doing my makeup wore me out. So let's get this video done and then I can go back and lay down again. <laughs> so this is the Ipsy Glam Bag for January 2022. Comes in this pretty tie-dye. We've got the yellow zipper. It says Ipsy on our little zipper pull. Three of my items are in here. The other two are on the outside of the bag. They wouldn't fit. Um, this is called Happy Vibes. Does it show you? No, it doesn't show you what's in here. So hang on a second. I'm going to pull up my app. All right, pull up my app. I had to find it because it's showing February's. Uh, tomorrow is February 2nd, and it's uh, pick day for our um, Glam Bag Plus or Glam Bag X. I, I didn't get the X this time. I wanted to do the, the regular Glam Bag Plus. Uh, the Glam Bag X just didn't interest me. Addison, somebody, is the curator. I don't know who she is. And frankly, at this point, I don't care. Right? <laughs> so let's see what's in my glam bag. All right. So first thing is by Amore Pacific. All right. And let's see. It's the Essential Cream Fluid. And it's 5 mLs. It's a deluxe sample comes in a little bottle like this and this says um, it's a moisturizer let's see if you can see that it's a little better green tea tea extract is the hero ingredient in this ultra hydrating facial moisturizer um, it's your skin's secret weapon for staving off early signs of aging the antioxidant rich ingredient helps protect your skin from free radical damage that leads to dark spots, fine lines, and inflammation. Uh, apply it morning and night, a few pumps to the face, chest, and neck. After cleansing and toning, the animal friendly formula is 100% cruelty free. And a more Pacific rates green tea based products based on decades long research into the powerful skincare benefits of the plant. Uh, I got a four star, great moisturizer, five star. 
this little potion some moisturizing without making my oil prone skin shiny no overpowering scent which is great for those who enjoy a neutral smell four star it's a nice moisturizer five star i really like the cream five star i really love this stuff uh five star five star four star love that it's not heavy on um, my oily face on my oily face thanks this moisturizer I don't mind the smell, kind of reminds me of a soap, which could be good or bad depending on the individual. So, all right, happy to get a little moisturizer to try. So far, some decent reviews on there. All right, so next in the bag, let's see. It's by uh, Sophie, Sophia and Maybell. Okay, Small and Mighty Extreme Volume Mascara, and I'm not going to, it's in a plastic wrap, I'm not going to open it because I have lot, enough mascaras open at the moment. I'm glad to just add this to my stash. Uh, let's see what the app says about it. All right, and let's see, $16, and it's a full-size product, mascara. It's a volumizing mascara that coats each lash with weightless, buildable volume without clumping, flaking, or smudging. It defines and thickens lashes from the tip to the root with fullness. You won't believe until you try. Um, nestle the silicone brush into the base of your lashes and glide upwards while wiggling side to side. Repeat and add additional coats for extreme dimension and volume. This lasting formula washes off easily with your favorite cleanser. No need for tugging, pulling, or harsh makeup removers. Plus, it's vegan and cruelty-free. Sophia and Maybell is an unfussy, universal beauty brand created to fit into any person's beauty collection, no matter what stage of life they might be in. So here's a five-star, one of the best mascaras I've used in quite a while. Three-star, not terrible, but not the best. One-star, I only received four items, and they were none of the things listed here. Okay, so that doesn't count. Uh, five star, uh, amazing, a bit cakey, but sometimes uh, that's what the look calls for. Two star, doesn't thicken lashes at all, barely lengthens, kind of just a tint, not for me. Five star, this mascara is really good. My lashes look amazing, it's not clumpy. Four stars, this is a nice, light, casual day mascara. Um, five star, this mascara is so good. So, all right. So when I am in need of a new mascara, I will open this up and give it a try. And let's bring over these other two objects here. So I got, and I've received the full size of this a long time ago. I think it was in BoxyCharm. Um, but this is the Rose and Quartz Hair Mask. And let's see what it says about it. <clears throat> I, I do like it. As a matter of fact, I use it today <laughs> on my hair. Um, after I washed it and conditioned it, I used this hair mask. 30 ml deluxe sample. It's damaged. It says what it does is damaged, over-processed hair. will love this conditioning treatment mask. It helps repair breakage and split ends and reverse dryness too. The result, strands that feel soft, smooth, and ultra shiny. Apply a generous amount to clean, wet hair, focusing on mid-lengths to ends. Leave on for up to five minutes and then rinse with cool water. It's safe to use on chemically treated hair, extensions, and wigs, and they provide stylists with high-quality vegan products that focus on self-care and good hair. Um, yeah, there's a couple one stars. Uh, there's the same person that says they only received four items. Uh, I just don't find myself reaching for these products very often. Three star smells nice, not a lot of product for how much hair I have. This is true. I can see I would use this whole thing because my hair is very thick, very thick. So it does feel soft. Um, yeah, so I do I do like it. I've used it several times. I think I've used about half. It comes in a big tub like this, and I've used about half of my tub. So let's see. Uh, this hair mask was pretty decent, smelled okay, and my hair was nice after using. It was good but didn't knock my socks off. I just recolored my hair, so this mask came in a good time. Feels like I didn't even color it. It looks more healthy. Uh, made my hair super shiny and soft and was a fun self-care thing to do. 
and those were two five stars. So you all know I did just re-bleach my hair a couple of weeks ago. Um, so when I do shampoo it, I try to um, condition it as much as I can. You know, I do need a trim, I think. It's been a really long time since I got a trim. And I think I find part of some of it is breaking a little bit. See the little flyways I got? So, but but this helped. It was, um, it was pretty rough today before I washed it. But I hadn't washed it in at least five days since I've been sick. I washed it right when I got sick. You know, <laughs> the night before, as a matter of fact. All right. So the next thing is MOTD Cosmetics Dab and Tap Makeup Sponge. So we got us a makeup sponge. Um, this is a full-size product and is worth $6. So both of these two were full-size products. So that's nice. The bag is $13. So those two products more than uh, made the, up the cost of the bag. It says, this pro quality sponge is made with super soft latex-free foam that seamlessly applies and blends makeup for a flawless second skin finish. Use the rounded end to blend makeup into larger areas of your face and the pointed tip for hard to reach places. I do use makeup sponges. Every time I put on my makeup, I prefer it um, um, for my foundation now. And uh, yeah, uh, MOTD stands for Makeup of the Day. It's vegan and it's cruelty free. And it supports a beginner's journey on becoming a makeup artist inspired to step outside your comfort zone. I wouldn't say I'm a beginner. I'm not a makeup artist, but I'm not a beginner at my makeup for sure. So, but always glad to get a new uh, makeup sponge. The last thing in my box is from Complex Culture. This brand is an Ipsy brand, I do believe. Rosy Outlook. It's a little eyeshadow palette. I believe this is the one I chose. Yeah, I picked this. Yeah, I picked this. You could pick one item in your bag usually pick it like um, the middle, like around, I think around the 20th of, of January or of December, I picked for my January bag. I keep forgetting this, my January bag still. <laughs> so I thought this was a cute little eyeshadow palette. It says Rosie Outlook Eyeshadow Palette. Let's uh, open this up and show you what she looks like. comes in a, a plastic container like this. <clears throat> open it up. There goes this little shade saver. No mirror or anything. It's just a small little simple four eyeshadows. All right. It's a deluxe sample. Palette's here to make doing your favorite eye makeup looks totally stress-free. The ultra-flattering berry shades are long-lasting and won't crease on your lids either. Sorry about that. It says, mix and match these shadows to shade, highlight, and contour your lips like a pro. Vegan and cruelty-free. Complex culture is a collab between beauty pros and a community of women aimed to simplify your routine so you feel twice as confident in half the time. So let's go ahead and swatch these. They're little pans. So I can just get my fingertips in there. A little powdery. All right. There they are. And don't look very pigmented. Did I do the right thing? Yeah. Gosh, I can't even do swatches. See, I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm going to finish this video and go and lie down. Just have one nice shimmer in there. All right. So that's a little better. So they're light shades. So this can make a nice neutral rosy look. Hopefully I'm not allergic. I'll do some swatch tests on my inner arm and make sure before I put them on my eyes. As you all know, I became allergic to the uh, Natasha Denona Love Palette. And I gave it to a co-worker for him to try, and he really liked it. He sent me pics today of him wearing it, and he did such a good job. So I'm happy it went to a good home at least. 
So I'll wear that on my arm for a little while and just make sure I don't have an allergic reaction before I try it on my eyes. I'll probably try it for a work look. All right. And I did get two add-ons in my bag. The first thing I got was a Bad Gal Bang uh, mascara. I've been wanting to try this. I've been seeing a lot of uh, people on YouTube trying it out and really enjoying it. So this was an add-on item. It um, It's volumizing mascara. I think I paid like $3 for this. All right. So I got that. This is by Benefit Cosmetics. All right. And then the other thing I got is a full-size item. And it's, it's the Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer by Tatcha. Retails for $52. This is a full size. I did not pay $52 for this. I either paid $12 or $18. I think it was probably $18. But let's open her up. I've been wanting to try this. I just came in one of the Glam Bag X's last year. And of course, I, I didn't get it. <laughs> because my Glam Bag X's haven't been that great. The Hidden Beauty one was okay. Uh, except I didn't get, um, you know, an eyeshadow palette, which I wanted. So it comes with this. I guess you use this to, uh, it comes wrapped in a foil packet. I guess you use this to take the uh, product out. Let's see. how bougie that looks. This is a $52 primer. All right. Does it have a, the lid comes off. Yep, and there's the product. So when you rub it, it's just like kind of moisture. It feels very moisturizing and cool. But I guess you use this to scrape out the product. I don't want to do that yet since I'm not going to use it since I already have my makeup on. But look how pretty that is. So I'm happy to get this. Um, I was glad I was able to pick it up in add-ons and add it to my little collection. All right, so that's all I got in my glam bag for January 2020, 2022. Again, I apologize for it coming out late, uh, but I've been sick. As you can hear, I'm still sick. But <laughs> So I got the Rose Quartz Hair Mask. I got the Complex Culture Rosy Eyeshadow Palette. I got the MOTV Makeup of, of the Day um, Beauty Sponge. I got this uh, moisturizer, and I got a mascara, Sophia and Maybelle. So let's see. One, two, two makeup products, a hair product, a face product, and a um, <sighs> you know, a makeup sponge, a tool. <coughs> All right. That's all I got for you guys. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I do have uh, my journal junk boxes to video, but I'm not going to do them tonight. Uh, I'm done for the night videoing. All right. So I will see you in the next video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're catching in glam bags. Love you all. Bye.